Hello. In this session, we are going to understand India-Afghanistan relations. In our previous video, we understood what were the major reasons for political instability, political instability in Afghanistan. We also witnessed how Taliban captured power and also we witnessed Operation Enduring Freedom and rest of the things. But in this session, we will focus purely on India-Afghanistan relations. This topic comes under General Studies Paper 2 of Civil Service Examination under the section International Relations. And some points which we discuss in this session quite useful in writing essays, particularly essays like Vasudeva Kutumbakam, those kind of topics. So let us start the discussion. We know that before going to understand the discussion, before going to understand the topic, so we will see what are the major objectives of this session. Okay, in this session we will try to understand civilizational historical ties between India and Afghanistan. We will also try to understand how India interacted with Afghanistan during independence time, after the independence and in the era of Soviet rule in Afghanistan and we will also try to understand how India interacted during the USSR rule and also during the Taliban and even after the fall of Taliban. We will also see the major aspect what are the security threats to India after the Taliban rule or after, after taking after the rule take over by the after the rule in Afghanistan take over by the Taliban. Chalo. The first and foremost thing we will see what are the historical and civilizational ties. See, Indus Valley civilization also has its roots with India. Okay, so in Afghanistan, there is a town called Shrotgal. In the Shrotgal, it is famous for mining for precious stones. And these precious stones usually supply to Indus Valley civilization cities. So from then we had civilizational ties. Then during Maurya's rule, we found the we found some inscriptions, Ashoka inscriptions in Kandahar. Okay, in Greek and Brahmi languages, Brahmi script. So here Ashoka's rule also showing some historical ties. Later arrival of Islam to Afghanistan then even then also Hindus and even Islamic people Muslims also have some tolerance and they used to live side by side later arrival of Mughals and you know very well that Babar tomb also located in Afghanistan then Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan during the prince, uh, uh, freedom struggle we have some connections here Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan is a person who is also called as Frontier Gandhi and who opposed partition okay even though he is a Muslim person he opposed partition also later what is important is even Subhash Chandra Bose also had some ties with Afghan people even he dressed himself as a Pashtun man while he is escaping from uh, India to Germany later what is important is do after independence Nehru conducted Asian conference in which in which it, is, it was, which was considered to be first Asian conference in which different representatives from different countries within the Asia came to India and they came and they said that they will maintain some unity for Asian countries and also they also supported they also supported that Asian countries should have unity and solidarity and they should resolve uh, issues which are common concern. At that time, Afghanistan maintained a policy of neutrality which is similar to India's flagship NAM policy, uh, flagship policy NAM, non-element movement. Both the countries had some uh, concerns, common concerns and even they went for Treaty of, Treaty of Friendship in 1950 itself to engage themselves in different fields. But later things changed. You and me well aware about the things, how things changed in the 
in the previous session itself that is we understood about how rise of Zaheer Shah and then Zaheer Shah replaced by Dawood Khan and Dawood Khan faced a lot of challenges okay so all these things all these things we discussed in a previous session so if possible if you are unable to uh, attend attend the session please uh, do watch that video uh, the link will be provided in the description okay so later what happened India continues to India continues to engage with Afghanistan and even India engaged with the uh, USSR USSR uh, gov USSR supported government which is a PDPA government India continued to give aid even USSR after USSR left uh, Afghanistan also India sup gave support to Afghan people however after the rise of Taliban after the rise of Taliban India witnessed some challenges because Taliban government recognized by Pakistan Saudi Arabia and UAE not by India apart from that India faced some security challenges that is uh, hijack of this flight uh, IC 814 and you know very well that Telugu movie Gaganam based on this uh, movie uh, based on this incident itself okay then uh, India faced lot of security challenges different uh, threats faced by India from Taliban rule and uh, India also secretly engaged with the Northern Alliance okay so anti-Taliban forces Northern Alliance got the support apart from that we know that 9 by 11 attack after 9 by 11 attack USA launched operation enduring freedom against Al-Qaeda forces and also Taliban where USA forces completely dismantled and dethroned Taliban government and where you it was replaced by Islamic Republic of Afghanistan which is a democratic government then India's position changed here so after 20, 2001 India started to support Afghanistan with humanitarian aid and with reconstruction efforts okay India involves in reconstruction efforts and India mostly engaged in mostly engaged in reconstruction on and also strengthening Afghanistan and Afghanistan institutions so we'll see one by one so what are the different initiatives taken by India in Afghanistan so we will see what are the financial assistance and education assistance agriculture support health way and power plants and we will also see infrastructure support and training and even defense so how india engaged with all these things we'll see now so first and foremost that is financial issues you see india india provided almost 650 to 750 million funds to afghanistan for the economic and humanitarian aid it also gave 50 million rupees purely for the business development okay apart from that during the SARC conference in the year 2008 India also announced to provide more, more um, few more funds for that developmental aid that's the reason India considered to be largest donor and also largest country which involved in different activities within the South Asian region in Afghanistan then coming to the education so education is one of the most backward at the same time underdeveloped in in afghanistan so because of different wars because of different conflicts education continues to suffer in afghanistan so here india involved in reconstruction of a school so habiba school and it also provided computer labs it also provided computer labs to the school okay it trained some teachers too and also india involved in vocational training of students in afghanistan training in carpentry plumbing works electrical works etc apart from that there is there is one ngo non-government organization self-employment women's association seva this ngo along with indian government trained afghan women in providing in providing skills for garment making for embroidery works okay etc so like this india involved in strengthening education and education system apart from that it offered scholarships to lot of students and lot of scholarships to afghan students also then coming to agriculture it is one of the backbone of 
backbone econ uh, backbone sector for Afghanistan economy however it continues to see lot of disruptions like other sectors so what happened here India strengthened agriculture of Afghanistan in by establishing agriculture science technology university in this university people are trying people giving training to Afghan farmers in better cultivation in rising productivity in proper utilization of fertilizers like that so apart from that it also involved in cold storage and warehouse constructions in Kandahar province and it also giving lot of support to the local farmers in improving their productivity then regarding uh, coming to the health as per WHO health is one sector which is highly neglected in Afghanistan so there are number of challenges even uh, child mortality is very high maternal mortality is very high apart from that Afghan people also suffered lot of seasonal diseases say it can be malaria dengue and also cholera typhoid all these diseases are very prevalent in Afghanistan due to number of reasons so for better health care India sent almost Indian missions, health missions to medical missions to four cities Kabul, Mazari Sharif, Kandahar, and Herat. So, in this missions, the main thing is it will uh, it will enter into Afghanistan with paramedical forces, with uh, essential medicines, and also with equipments. Also, it also provided ambulances support to hospitals in five different cities. Apart from that, India also. Uh, engaged itself in providing maternal better maternal care also apart from that dur uh, during COVID-19 crisis also India sent uh, essential medicines and also India sends, sent almost 5 lakhs more than 5 lakhs uh, vaccines to Afghanistan okay apart from that to improve to improve sanitation facilities India involved in provide uh, in construction of uh, sanitation complex and also toilet complexes in uh, Kabul okay then coming to the power plants India established 220 kilowatt power plants in Afghanistan it was it got support from BHEL Indian PSU and this PSU involved in the construction of these projects so most important thing is it also established subunits in Chimtala Kabul Doshi and Chirakar so the most important thing is apart from this dedicated power plants we also constructed some dams which we'll see in the later session these dams also those dams also involved in construction involved in power supply so we'll see a few now so now coming to infrastructure as i told you salma dam is which is also called as india afghanistan friendship dam also involves in power generation you see 42 megawatts okay then india also involved in construction of parliament which is also called as national assembly then india also involved in providing buses to different municipalities then it also involved in digging wells and rehabilitation of some reservoirs also then the most important aspect within the infrastructure development is it involves in construction of most important project from Dhelaram to Jharanj by borders road organization Indian organization in which it will try to construct this road what is the significance here so coming to geographical significance here Afghanistan is a landlocked country okay for India to reach Central Asia we need a true friend and that is Afghanistan so Afghanistan plays like a bridge between connecting Central Asia and India so that's the there comes the point that from Chabahar to from Chabahar it will reach Afghanistan then you can reach easily Central Asia so we are engaged with this project India Afghanistan and Iran these countries came for trilateral agreement in 2016 and they agreed to construct this Chabahar port okay so this is quite significant and important too for us then India also allowed Afghan trucks to use this Atari land check post which is near the Vaga border okay so India allowed Afghan trucks to use for the better trade between India and other things apart from that India recently so recently in Geneva donors conference 2020 accepted to construct this uh, new dam which is Shatut dam across the Kabul river see India engaged in different projects apart from Chabahar all these things happen so 
it also provided support in terms of training almost 30 civil servants went to afghanistan and also teachers got trained diplomats police and scholarships also provided all these trainings given to the afghan people in you if you see all these aspects afghanistan and india has quite important role and india maintained a significant role in strengthening afghan people's talent people's skills and also strengthening infrastructure providing support in the development of uh, afghanistan like this india involved apart from the strengthening defenses defense forces it also it supplied 250 uh, 285 military vehicles apart from that donated mi-25 aircrafts and also three cheetal helicopters which are developed by hindustan aeronautical limited hal so india gives defense support in in a way to strengthening defense forces of afghanistan that is the uniqueness of india where india mostly focused in strengthening afghanistan afghanistan forces what are the other initiatives okay as i told you uh, health issues malnutrition is one of the important issue and to fight malnutrition india sent wheat uh, some tons of wheat to afghanistan uh, through chabahar port then restoration of store palace where an iconic palace the palace it was also restored by india then uh, is cricket stadium constructed in kandahar project apart from that to to improve standards in rural development indian bureau of indian standards have had an agreement uh, mou with afghan national standardization authority with for the developing for developing afghan uh, for developing afghan standards itself so these are the major initiatives taken by india apart from taking major initiatives it also involved it also involved in different different negotiations it also uh, it, it took some initiatives it also part of some initiatives we will see them one by one so one is bond conference in which india assured that it will take part in the reconstruction of afghanistan and also undp launched a global south south Con conference for afghanistan in this also india involved and promised to engage with afghanistan apart from the delhi investment summit initiated by india in this summit pakistan and china also took part and they also agreed to give cooperation for the development of afghanistan in the reconstruction efforts for the reconstruction efforts apart from that india supported afghanistan membership in sark and even it became eighth member in sark which is the last member in sark countries okay and uh, heart of asia india involved in this discussion heart of asia which is also called as istanbul process we already discussed in a previous session please check out the video so all these conferences india involved and continues to continues to uh, draw attention again uh, against the instability in the afghanistan and draw attention to bring peace and prosperity to the afghanistan it also uh, involved in seo where afghanistan is the observer there so all these things if you see india closely working for the peace and prosperity in afghanistan so now what are the so till now we discussed about uh, discussed about what india did what india is doing now we will see what are the major security threats faced by india previously okay so after uh, capturing power taliban showed some kind of some uh, some kind of uh, uh, disrespect towards india's uh, india's infrastructures you see here so uh, kabul is there and also uh, kabul uh, where terrorist uh, attacks happened on indian embassy almost indian embassy attacked uh, two years apart from that india's uh, india's guest house also attacked by taliban and then Indian consulate also attacked by Taliban for forces and most importantly Haqqani network okay so remember that Doha Accord Doha Accord gave assurance to USA that is uh, Taliban gave assurance that uh, uh, we will never allow our soil to, uh, to soil for other forces we will never create threats to any country to USA but anyway so this Doha Accord remains silent over this other over the taliban faction other factions that is haqqani network which is which is the main reason for these attacks okay so haqqani network is the prime reason so no action till now announced against no action or no um, for the details about haqqani network and also drugs and arms trade you know these drugs and arms trade is very high within these countries iran 
Pakistan and Afghanistan. So these countries now, uh, we, I, we discussed in the previous session also, that is Afghanistan and Taliban involved in drugs and uh, uh, most of arms trade. So we have to see what will happen in future. So apart from that, from last few days, the issues are going on. That is Afghanistan, Taliban uh, claiming that we will, they will uh, raise voice for Kashmiri Muslims and also and also India's uh, resolution, India's resolution in resolution 2593, which is condemning the, uh, condemns the deadly attacks in Afghanistan and also to uphold human rights. However, here the thing is, this resolution was abstained by China and Russia recently. So we have to wait and watch, not only me, so even um, Ministry of External Affairs, S.J. Sankar are also mentioning that we have to wait and watch okay wait and watch policy apart from that uh, recently deepak mittal indian uh, representative met taliban representative so we will see uh, the further developments in the coming days whatever it may be so these things we should remember for answer writing and these things are important for the upsc point of view and apart from that major developments we will continue to learn in our coming classes thank you and jai hind